fellow book lovers, welcome back to the Bibliovert channel. My name is Jacqueline. So for this week, my husband and I are kind of on a mini staycation, like an elongated weekend, if you will. So I thought that I would do kind of like a little vlog talking about the books that I have already read this weekend, or am kind of planning on reading for the rest of our vacation. So um, I finished last night Promises and Pomegranates by Sav R. Miller, which is actually our Patreon book buddy read for the month of August. And we're going to be talking about this book at the end of the month. And I'm super, super excited to talk about it. This is a Hades and Persephone retelling, except it's kind of like a contemporary romance mafia romance and I don't have much experience in the mafia romance realm um, so this was kind of a first to me but I am super excited because at the end of this month we are going to be having a zoom meeting with our Bryce level patrons to discuss this book and I have a feeling there's going to be a lot to talk about. So I'm super excited about that. So last night I couldn't sleep, so I started People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. And this is a romance book, which I feel like is still kind of a new genre for me. I've read quite a few of them, but it's just been since like May that I think I've started really reading romances. Um, but so far I'm really liking it. The characters are like really funny and the humor is great, but I'm like maybe 40 pages into it. Um, so I think I'm going to keep reading that one today. Um, I'm reading it on my Kindle and I really like it. it's just, I don't know, something about like romance and summer just like really work for me. Um, so I'm enjoying it. I also have downloaded Beach Read by Emily Henry as well because I've heard that that one's really great. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to read both of those this week, but anyway, we'll see kind of like if it's on a whim, if I enjoy people we meet on vacation, I'll go ahead and read the next one. But regardless, I'm excited. I've heard great things. I'm really ready to read it. And another book that I have got to read this week that I'm so excited about is Bridge Kingdom by Daniel L. Jensen. I read this book on Christmas Eve, maybe Christmas Day, I can't remember. Um, so I think I mentioned this in our last video, which was my favorite fantasy books to recommend. I said, if there's any book that I would recommend to anyone, it would be this one. It's so <laughs> incredibly good. And I'm really thrilled because the reason I have to read it this week is because we're recording an episode over on the Bibliovert podcast for it. Oh. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's just, there's just something about it, y'all. The first three chapters are amazing. My jaw was on the floor. I couldn't stop. Literally, I'm at my in-laws watching, I think it was Jaws, which I've never seen before. I know. It's probably a character flaw of mine. Um, but they're all watching Jaws and... I had brought the physical copy of this, proceeded to then buy it on my Kindle so that I could read in the dark while they're watching the movie because I was so engrossed in it and I, I could not stop. So I'm really excited to talk with the girls about this book because it's just fantastic. So those are kind of the books that I have floating around this week. Um, we'll see how many of them I actually get to or I finish. Again, Bridge Kingdom's really the only one that I have to get to. Ooh. Oh, it's rainy and stormy. <laughs> that was a really long clap of thunder. Um, I am also on my third playthrough of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> And I'm kind of like, can't stop. So there's a chance that I might be doing a little bit of that this week as well, especially since I'm on vacation. It's just kind of easy. <laughs> so I might be doing that as well. We'll see, I don't know. Um, but it's rainy and stormy and I'm loving this weather. So gonna go get cozy, probably make a cup of tea or something like that, probably get a snack or two and uh, continue reading the people we meet on vacation. So I'll update you on my thoughts as I go, but it's just going to be a fun, chill, relaxing staycation vlog kind of thing. So I hope you enjoy it.
Okay, so it's the next day and I have now finished People You Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed by it. Um, I ended up giving it two and a half stars, not because I hated it, but just because I was disappointed and really bored, if I'm gonna be completely honest. It was just way too long and drawn out. And there were a lot of details and moments and flashbacks that just like, quite frankly, didn't really feel necessary to me. Um, I really liked the overall premise of this book. It follows Poppy and her best friend Alex who have known each other since they were in college and every summer they take a trip together and there's always kind of been this like 5% of her that like has feelings for him but she just kind of like tampers it down and ignores it. Um, and then one summer something happened in Croatia and they didn't talk for two years. So then Poppy in like a burst of inspiration and maybe even a little bit of desperation reaches out to Alex and is like, let's give this one last hurrah. Let's try and take another trip together, see how it goes. And that's kind of where we find ourselves. So I'll start with the things that I really did like. There were parts where the humor and the banter were absolutely laugh out loud worthy. They were so funny really enjoyable. The banter was great. It did kind of seem like it petered off maybe a little bit towards the end, but I, I started off really enjoying the characters. Um, the problem that I had was that there were so many flashbacks. Um, and again, some of them you were just like, is this even really all that necessary? Um, and then it kept building to this moment of like, what happened in Croatia? And I was just left like really underwhelmed. Like when you finally find out what it is, you're like, oh, that, that's what happened. And you didn't end up talking for two years. I don't know. I think I just expected it to like be this big moment. And I was just kind of, eh. Um, another thing, and I, I realized that like, maybe I've just been spoiled with this recently, but I think I've gotten so used to dual POV where you have the point of views of both characters. And I found myself really needing to be in Alex's head and see why he liked Poppy because their chemistry, it just didn't make sense to me. Um, truly, it just kind of felt like they liked each other because they've known each other for so long. And like there was the comfort of friendship and there wasn't any like anything like really between them I don't know so I think I really if I had Alex's point of view I would have maybe enjoyed it more because I could see what he sees in her and not just what she sees in him and really likes so overall I just uh, yeah I didn't hate it there were definitely parts that I really enjoyed but I just kind of realized like it wasn't necessarily for me now I do already have Beach Read downloaded on my Kindle, which is also by Emily Henry. So I'm kind of debating if I want to read that one too. There's a chance I'll like it more, but if it's kind of in the same vein, then like, I don't really know if I want to do that. I might do it. I might not. We'll see. Um, another book that has been sitting on my Kindle for a minute now um, is Zodiac Academy 5. Um, I finished four a couple weeks ago and I binged the first four like within a couple of days and they're like pretty thick books. Um, and so I was like, okay, I need a break. They're all running together. I'm missing things. So I've taken a couple of weeks off in between, but I have found myself like really wanting to get back into that world. Um, so that's another one that I might pick up, but again, I'm not quite sure. One that I like really need to prioritize is Bridge Kingdom. So I think I'm going to go ahead and read this one so that I am ready for our podcast episode that we are recording this week. It will be going out uh, the Monday after this video is released. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and read this one again. This is a reread. I love it. I'm super excited about it. If you would like to hear all of our thoughts on Bridge Kingdom, definitely go check out the Bibliovert podcast. We are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Play. And we also have over 30 episodes where we just talk about books and have a really great time doing it. They are book-specific episodes. So it's kind of like a book club in podcast form. But I think I'm going to go ahead and start this one. Dive in. So excited cannot wait and then we'll see maybe zodiac academy maybe be tree maybe something else completely different entirely i have no idea but i am gonna go ahead and bullet journal people you meet on vacation by emily henry and then um yeah i'm gonna go read and uh, that's about it
I just have no freaking words for how much I love this book. Now, I started it yesterday and I'm only on chapter four. So I'm not super far in, but like, it's just so good. That first chapter, I, I just, it's like, it's unreal. <laughs> Okay, so just in case you still need to be convinced to read this book, it has some of my all-time favorite tropes in it. So Lara has been trained to be an assassin since she was five. She is now 20 and she is the daughter of the king and she has been chosen to marry another king of a different country in order to undermine and eliminate that country and their trade routes so that her father and their kingdom can be more successful. Um, so you have like a strong, fierce, amazing heroine. And then you also have like the arranged marriage and like forced proximity tropes. And then like when you meet Aaron, who is the king of the other country, he's like really great. <laughs> I really love Aaron. He's amazing. Um, and of course, like, it's not what you expect and everything kind of, like, crumbles around them. But, oh, it's just, it's really, really, really well done, in my opinion. It's truly one of my favorite duologies ever. Um, I think Daniel L. Jensen just, like, absolutely knocked it out in the park on this one. So, like, please go read this book. Um, and Daniel L. Jensen just announced, I think, a couple of days ago that she has now put it on Kindle Unlimited. So it is free if you have Kindle Unlimited. So like, go read it <laughs> because it's just chef's kiss. So good. But that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, we have an episode for Bridge Kingdom coming out on our podcast, the Bibliovert podcast on Monday. So definitely go check that out. We also have a Patreon that is filled with the most amazing book loving people ever. We have a monthly book buddy read and polls behind the scenes and bloopers and a bunch of other things like that over on our Patreon. So definitely go check that out if you're looking for a really amazing bookish community. We also so we're on Instagram at the Bibliovert Podcast, but I hope you have a fantastic week. Happy reading, and I'll see you next time.